Hello and welcome to the series on how to draw the Beatles. Before we start, of course, if you could subscribe, that would be great. Thank you very much. And also, ring that little bell icon if you want to know what's coming up next. Okay, well, the first Beatle I'm going to draw is, in fact, the founder of the Beatles, John Lennon. Uh, now, I'm going to start with the eyes. And John Lennon's eyes are kind of almond shaped. You start at the corner like this and come up in a nice gradual curve, like that, okay? The bottom of the eye is deeper on this side, like that. Then the other side is more, slightly more pointed there, that would be a bit in the corner. I've got the people coming in just about there. Okay, other one starts about here. Again, up and a curve. Slightly sharper this time, back down to the corner. And then down a bit more deeply on this side. Like that. And then the center of the eye comes in here. And what we'll do here is we'll do the highlight there and there. And then the center part of the eye is going to be darker than the outside. The eyelids on this side start about here and then they can all join the top and then they appear come out there. Eyelashes are fairly thick. I'll be going over this later but uh, just to put them in roughly just now. The eyelid on this side you see more of it coming in like that. Okay. A little bit of uh, shading to the bottom the corner of the eye there. And then the eye lashes underneath, the little line, little gap there, and then the eyelashes appear there. Same with that side there. Uh, John Lennon's eyebrows, quite thick actually, start from just over here, just above the corner, go up fairly sharply, and curve around the back of the eye there. And about that depth there, see, quite, quite thick. The other one starts over here, pulled down almost to the corner here. And again, the beginning of the eyebrow is really quite thick, curves up, fairly sharply, and then down around the corner of the eye muscle there. And of course, just above this, of course, you have the, the iconic beetle cut, <laughs> the haircut, combed down over his forehead, starting about here. Okay, and quite high. You're way up a bit here. The distance from there to there, actually, the same as the distance from there to the chin, but we'll do that later. Okay, so the corner of the eyebrow, you get a bit of shading coming in here down the nose. Of course, John Lennon's nose is quite aquiline, really, quite long. It curves in, and then there's a slight curve like that. You know, a slight curve, and the edges of the nose are fairly straight. And the tip of the nose is almost pointed like that. Coming up and then straight up to the side of the nostril there. You get some shading coming down here. You see that curve there, okay? And then the indentation of the top lip. And the mouth itself is actually fairly small. You get the curve of the top lip coming in like that. Little bump there on that curve. A little smiling curve here, like that. And in the bottom lip come in, that kind of curve there. The lips are not that thick, you know. They're not thin, but they're not thick. And a characteristic of John Lennon's smile is you can see both sets of teeth at the one time, so you get these Really small teeth coming in like that on the top with a gap at each side, and then the bottom set coming in about there, going up in that curve there. I'll put them in properly later. Now, as I said, the chin, distance of the top of the head to the eyebrows there is the same as from eyebrows to the, the chin, so that's the kind of length we've got there. Let's see, about there actually, yeah. 
Okay, that's about right. Excellent, so let's move to the uh, hair now. Centre part of the hair, you know, combed up. Quite luxuriant, comes around the side like that. Nice big curve. Comes around here. And the uh, way the hair is combed here, it's combed from the centre out and round towards the forehead like that. But as it comes to this side, the shapes of the hair start to go that way. So that way up to that corner, and it starts to go around that way. And you follow the line round the side of his face there, the side of his ears, you get the side buns coming in there, and his hair over his ears, and his ears appear coming in there. Now, Lennon's ears have no lobes, well, they have lobes, they're attached. So you get that kind of shape there. Okay, and his jawline coming down from the ear like that. And on this side, you know, the hair is still being combed this way. So you get his forehead coming in here. And then his cheekbone coming out very slightly. You get a kind of long angular face coming down like that to this. Not pointed, but it'll be a bit square at the bottom here, but it's kind of pointed, like that, okay? And his uh, other ear is just kind of hidden in behind the hair here. Of course, you get more hair coming in the back, and then there. And then we can put his neck in, and uh, collar. Let's see, this is the period where they wore the, the suits with the, the black bit of the collar. At, this at the top here coming in like that. Okay. And the shirt comes in roughly there. And the other lapel of the jacket coming in about there. Okay, so there we have the rough pencil drawing of John Lennon's head. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, start to work into that a bit more, get a bit more shading, get a bit more solidity. Right, let's start uh, shading the eyes. So, as I said, the top part of the eyes um, can be quite dark because of the eyelashes there, so put a bit of weight in your pencil and you get the curve of the eyelash coming out there like that. And then his pupil coming in there like that. The centre, as I said, very dark, leave that highlight, like that, and a bit of shading underneath there, and then a bit of lighter shading around there. Makes it look quite realistic. And then accentuate that curve coming up there, and a little bit of shading here. And we'll do exactly the same with that eye. Right, now I've done both eyes, we move on to the eyebrows. And again, when you're shading, use uh, the strokes on your pencil, which kind of corresponds to the way the hair is going. So the hair and the eyebrows are going that way, so use that kind of technique when you're shading it in. Try and get the sensation of the hair through your pencil strokes, like that. Filling in that shape that I drew earlier, like that. Okay, same with this one here. The stroke's going this way now. And if you see little bits of white paper through your shading, that's fine. That gives a sensation of the quality of the hair and the eyebrows. Okay, like that. Okay, now what we do now is move up to the hair itself. Um, and of course, the way the light shine it will, will make various highlights and so on, and dark areas. So let's try and imagine what the dark areas would be. Um, on the curves here, at the front and here, the light will catch that, so they will be lighter than the other parts. So there'll be a big bit of dark shading up here, and this is going to draw around the shade, the shape rather, of the dark areas. So there's a big dark area coming in here, coming down towards the front, going across the middle of the head, come down here like that, and there's a bit of light being caught here, so there's a shape coming in there. Light around the outside edge, and some more light parts being caught here. 
and across here, a big light part there, which comes in like that, and another light streak here, and another bit coming in there, going across to the edge, and then on this curve here, the center part will be light, so you can draw a kind of shape like that. So I'm defining the lighter areas now. That was a dark area. This is going to be slightly less dark. This is going to be light. It's going to be dark in here, and then some more light shapes here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to start to shade in. So starting from the top, uh, the outside edges here are a kind of middle tone. So you don't put too much weight on the pencil. You can, if you like, put a bit of weight on the outside line. But then again, use your pencil shading in the direction of the hairs falling. Like that, or lying, I should say. You don't want the hair to fall out, but <laughs> get the hair lying on the head like that. So that's like a middle tone, and lighter as it come down here, and then in these gaps where I've created these shapes here, you can shade in between and leave the light bits, and then coming out to the very dark bits, you put your weight on your pencil and really start to work into that area there, into the dark areas. Okay, so that whole area there is going to be dark, so I'll work on that and a couple of other dark areas, and let's see how it looks. I'm going to work across that dark area there and down to this side, and I'm going to leave some of these lighter areas now just by putting my pencil strokes across them, and then moving down to a darker area in here, and where that layer is light, so that, if you like, you can shade like that first of all, you know, to cover the area, and then, that's kind of circular motion, and then, Use your pencil to get the direction of the hair, like that, okay? And as you come down to that part, which is the light part, you can take your weight off your pencil slightly, and then just bring the pencil line across the light part. It's not totally light, you know, it's a lot lighter than this lot here. And as you come down to the bottom, you start to put your weight on the pencil again as the, as the hair curves across the forehead like that, okay? And to get a nice sketchy look to it, you can use lots of marks like that, as long as you continue to use your pencil following the line of the hair, okay? And that's what I'll continue to do right around here, leaving this bit of light and working on the dark areas like this part down here and up here. Right, as you see, I've worked on the hair putting a lot of the dark area, leaving some of these light areas like that, and shading over some of those light areas at the front here, so they're not too bright. Okay, so let's move down to the eyes now. Um, and we'll get a bit of shading under the eyebrows here. Take the eyebrow down a slight bit there, and you're getting a bit of shading coming around from this muscle here down the side of the cheekbone, also here. And this bit of darker shading in at the corner of his eye. Again, I'm using this kind of circular motion, slightly darker there, a little line under his eye there, and then following that line down the door that I drew earlier, but doing a bit of shading along the side of it, like that, okay? Not too heavy. And um, there's this slight bend in his nose here, which comes in, and this side is paralleled that, and it comes up on a curve very lightly up to the corner of his eye here, which again is shaded in there, and yeah, a kind of triangular shape coming down like that, angled towards the nose, and a bit of line underneath his eye there, and a shading here. There's also some shading down this side of the head, which I'll just start to put in just now, shade over his ear here. Put a bit of that shading in these shapes, like that. And bring that shading just down the side of his jawline here, uh, quite roughly for the moment. Okay, look, back to the nose now. And this side has a bit of shading, and also at the side of the nose over here coming out, and another triangular shape. And then you got a bit of shading under the overhang of the nose here, underneath. So a bit of weight on that, bring your shadow up, 
like that to this side and shade this side of the nostril slightly darker than that side and a little bit of shading under there okay and because of the kind of tight curve here you get a bit of shading down this side of his upper lip just a touch coming in here and a bit of shading in that little indentation above his mouth there okay now move on down to the lips and again this is a small mouth you get this line not too heavy it's kind of obviously keep his bow shape coming up here and that nice curve of a smile coming up like that and then a little bit of shading on the top lip not too much and then we have his teeth starting in from the corner here and another one there and then the two kind of main teeth at the front there and curving up like that and then the bottom teeth just appearing with a light gap there you don't have to draw the lines in um, sometimes you don't have to do that other times it, uh, you do need to if the uh, if the teeth are you know have obviously the lines in them but with Leonard's teeth you don't really have to do that but shading under the top lip here on his teeth and then of course you have this deep gap in the corner like that and you get a very typical Lennon look there see with the teeth together and then the bottom lip comes in like that and like that again not too dark with a bit of shading in the bottom of the lip another bit of shading there and then we can work on the shape of the face now get that nice cheekbone shape coming in here and bring it in slightly there I think and out again and then in sharply there down to this chin up this straight jawline like that and we can start to move the shading on this side of the face down towards the chin now down to about here and a little bit of shading under the chin and then coming back up and he has a characteristic bit of shading coming in here which delineates the kind of angularity if you like of his face you know he didn't have a soft rounded face like Paul McCartney much more angular like that okay and then move down to the collar of his shirt now it comes down a bit here and a bit of deep shading under his chin just in here like that okay dark shading of his tie there you can just sketch this the rest of this in now and say keep a nice kind of loose sketchy quality to your drawing and top part of the lapel here again which is dark but again you can just shade it in very quickly with strokes like that just suggest it you know the rest of the jacket coming in here and another one here that part of his collar there that's dark again just quickly suggest it and the rest of his shoulder coming in here okay now what you can do now is start to look at it and maybe get a darker pencil and uh, see if you can then mold the features that uh, a bit better okay so let's do that okay i've just been finishing off the shading using this 8B pencil, deepening these dark areas like that, and also in the eyes, the center of the eyes, that deepens that, you see that, and also the corner of the mouth. Lifted the corner slightly there, and get that wee cheeky linen grin, you know. <laughs> uh, and also took a bit of a shading off here, so to accentuate the shading on this side. Excellent, so that's uh, John Lennon from the early 60s, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you can join me again for another tutorial very soon. <laughs> okay, all the best then, and happy drawing! <laughs>